Okay, how about 4D energy stored? Since inductor is designed to store energy in its magnetic field, ano yung equations natin for the energy stored dun sa ating element? So, start ulit tayo sa equation na P is equal to V times I. So, papalitan ngayon natin yung uh, V natin. Since, ano yung V natin? L, D, I, D, I over D, T. So, P is equal to L, D, I over D, T. Okay, times I. Ayan yun. Okay, then the energy stored, W is negative infinity 2T, P, D, T. Substitute natin. L, T, I over D, T times I. Ayan yun. Ito siya. Times D, T. So, arrange natin. Ito, D, T to D, T. So, labas yung L from negative infinity to T. So, I, I, T, I. Diba? And then, kung i-integrate natin, so, that is I squared over 2 from negative infinity to T. Okay, ayusin natin siya. Ito ko naman itutuloy. So, work is equal to L, okay, L over, or 1 half. Okay, 1 half. Ito. Gano'n ko na to. 1 half of L, I squared of T minus 1 half of L kasi from negative infinity to T. I squared of negative infinity. Ayan siya. Pinayas natin yung upper and lower limit. Since I of negative infinity is equal to 0, this is 0 na. So, W is 1 half L I squared. So, ito siya. So, ito yung ating energy stored in a in an inductor. Okay. Now, we should note the important properties of an inductor. Kagaya dun sa kagaya dun sa ating capacitance, no? Number one, the voltage across an inductor is zero when the current is constant. Kasi yung formula natin that mm, V is equal to L di over dt if the current is constant therefore the voltage is is there is zero okay kapag ganun anong property yon short circuit ang ating inductor sa dc okay kapag zero current i i mean the voltage across okay the current is constant but v it, it would become the okay the voltage across the inductor is zero when the current is constant. So, kapag constant ito, voltage is zero. Ang inductor natin, it, like, it acts like a short circuit to DC. So, kailangan yung tandaan yun. Kapag DC ang source, open circuit yung capacitance, ang inductor mo, short circuit. No? Short circuited. Another important property of inductor is the opposition to the change in, cor in current flowing through it. The current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, according to equation, ano equation natin? Yung ito pa rin. Okay. A discontinuous, discontinuous change in the current through an inductor requires an infinite voltage. So, if we have a discontinuous change in current through an inductor, um, it would require an infinite voltage which is not physically possible. Thus, an inductor opposes an abrupt change in the current through it. For example, the current through an inductor may take the form A, ito yon, whereas the inductor current cannot take form B, ito. Is allowed this is not allowed. So, an abrupt change in the current is not um, allowed. Okay. However, the voltage across an inductor can change abruptly. Okay. The current through an inductor cannot change instantaneously. But, okay, the voltage across an inductor can change abruptly. The voltage with the current is not allowed. Next. Um, ano yung 
property ng ideal capacitor natin. Ay, I mean, na ideal inductor natin. Like the ideal capacitor, it does not dissipate energy. And the energy stored uh, in it can be retrieved later in the circuit. Okay, parehas sila nung capacitor natin. That is our consideration or assumption in our analysis sa circuit. But, okay, ano ba yung itsura ng practical non-ideal inductor? So, as you can see in this figure, since ano kasi siya wire na nakakoil, okay, so it has a conducting material such as copper. So, merong resistance yun. Kapag drawing mo yung uh, practical, yung non-ideal inductor, eto yung inductor mo, magsisiris ka ng winding resistance. Ang tawag doon ay winding resistance. Okay, the presence of this winding resistance makes it both as an energy storage device, kasi ito energy storage device, di ba? Property yun ng inductor. And at the same time, an energy dissipation device. Kasi kapag meron kang winding resistance, meron kang resistance, it dissipates energy. But um, this winding resistance is very small, so usually it is ignored in many cases. Gaya ng gagawin natin kapag nag analyze tayo sa circuit with a load of inductors. The non-ideal inductor um, also, nakikita nyo naman, meron siyang winding capacitance due to the capacitive coupling between the conducting coils. So, CW or the capaci winding capacitance is also very small and it is ignored in most cases, except at high frequencies. Okay? So, yung, ano natin, um, yung capacitance natin, meron siyang leakage. Meron siyang leakage yung form niya. Meron siyang leakage resistance. Okay. While sa ating inductor, yung ideal, yung non-ideal, meron siyang winding resistance in series and the capaci winding capacitance. But these two are neglected because they are very small. So sa analysis natin, they are neglected or ignored. Okay. Like in the case of uh, capacitor and resistors, sa inductor din, kailangan natin uh, malaman yung way or yung ating formula to get the equivalent inductor or inductance. So, L equivalent, so if you have a series of N inductors, ano yung equivalent nun? Kapag series, kamukha sa resistor, add mo lang. Pero kapag parallel, kamukha siya sa resistor, kunin mo yung uh, reciprocal. 1 over L equivalent is 1 over L sub 1 plus 1 over L sub 2 up to 1 over L sub N. Or mas madali, yung ginagawa natin, we will get uh, 2 at a time. L equivalent or sa resistor are equivalent, di ba? So, ito yung formula natin. So, sa pagkuha ng... Equivalent resistance and equivalent inductance, parehas si silang dalawa. Opposite naman si capacitance. Okay, that would end our uh, discussion on the property, voltage current relationship, uh, energy equation, power equation ng capacitor and inductors natin.